Anthony Kim made a shock return to competitive golf earlier this year when he teed it up at Live Jetta, marking the end of his 12-year stint in the golf wilderness. The enigmatic American disappeared from the professional game in 2012 following a string of injuries that forced him into early retirement. Despite many believing he would never return to the professional men's circuit, he was lured out of retirement by Live CEO Greg Norman and now has a permanent spot on the Live Golf Tour as a wild card for the remainder of the 2024 season. He signed a one year deal with the Saudi Back League estimated to be worth between $7 to $10 million. Speaking to the media ahead of the 50th Anniversary Players' Championship, Jay Monahan was asked about Kim's return and whether or not there was ever a conversation held to get him back in action on the PGA Tour. Monahan gave a short but sharp response. Hezade, it did not have direct conversation with Anthony. Members of our team did, and very clearly laid out what it would take for him to earn his way back to the PGA Tour. I'm glad he is healthy and well, and wish him well. Reading between the lines, it would appear that Kim would have likely been made to climb back up the PGA Tour ladder via the Corn Ferry Tour. In order to regain a place on the men's premier circuit, where he once won three titles. With that in mind, it seems fairly obvious why a lucrative move to live was more enticing. Despite Kim's former glory on the PGA Tour, it would have likely been a hard and long road back to the PGA Tour, and the form that once saw him represent Team USA at the Ryder Cup. Kim's form since his debut has been rusty at best. His first appearance at Live Jetta resulted in a last-place finish, 33 shots behind the winner, Joaquin Neiman. Despite that frustrating start, Kim did bounce back nicely at Live Hong Kong, and put together a stunning final round, 65, that gave spectators a glimpse of the player they once knew and loved.